All right, guys, we're here today to uh, connect our new REN hydraulic tool up and show you through the, um, the undoing process as well as do up. The first one is to basically connect your hydraulic hoses to the actual tool. Make sure the couplers are in and done up nice and firmly. The pump end's already, already done. So one, once you've actually got it connected, see them on the ground. Grab the remote for the actual pump and just start it and cycle it just to make sure that there's no restriction in hydraulic flow. <clears throat> okay, we've also got the pump set to 9,000 PSI. So when we undo the, uh, the bolts behind us, there's plenty of oil pressure and delivery. Alright, so up to the job behind us. Now, Basically, at the moment, the uh, square driver is on the right-hand side of the tool, looking at the front cover. Uh, we need to change it to the left-hand side, left for loose. So, on the side is a driver retainer. We push the button, pull the square drive out, put the drive back in for the loosening side, and put our drive retainer back onto the tool. Always making sure that it's fully engaged. <clears throat> now we've got selected three, three bolts that we're going to loosen. So basically put the, uh, the tool onto the socket, take the reaction arm off and point it to the same direction as the square drive and pick up a reaction point as such. Once you've got the reaction point, basically start the pump, apply advanced pressure and hold it and the tool will build up pressure and undo the actual bolt. Then we can move it along to the next selected bolt. Put the tool down onto its reaction point. Start the pump. And the same again, apply the pressure. The tool will build pressure. And eventually undo the bolt. Okay. okay guys, we've just finished the undoing process. What we're going to do now is run you through how to set our new REN tool up for doing the bolts up uh, and setting the pressures with the torque chart. First off, we undo the regulator anti-clockwise to decrease the pressure back to a comfortable pressure of around 1000 psi. So we just start the pump, circle the tool over, Still pressure on the pump and we're around that 1000 PSI. Okay, so with our torque chart, today we're doing 1400 foot pound. On our torque chart, we need to set the pump pressure at 4400 PSI, which will uh, be the pressure we require for the, the bolts behind us. So we start the pump, fully advance the tool forward, screw the regulator down until we get to our 4,400. 4,400. Set the tool off. Do it again just to check and stabilise our pressure. Once we've done that, that is set and ready for the job. Okay, so the job behind us. We've just finished the undoing process, so we need to turn the square drive for the tightening side. Once again, we press the button in on the retainer, pull the square drive, put the square drive back in the right side for tightening. Make sure the retainer is fully back onto the tool. Turn the tool around, undo the reaction arm, and also place it on the same side as the square drive. Sock it onto the job tool onto the socket, bring the reaction arm down so it locates on the reaction point or the adjacent bolt, start the pump and advance it forward and let the tool build pressure and keep working it, advance and retract on the remote and once you build pressure 
and we don't move forward anymore, we can't see the socket turning, that is our achieved torque value. Take it off that bolt and onto our final bolt selected. Just check our reaction point. Tool in place. Start the pump and follow the same process as before. Once the tool stalls out, basically we have reached the torque value that we're, we're required to set. Tool off the job, and we're finished.